This conference will now be recorded. Hey, everybody. It's uh, 1 o'clock on Tuesday, so it is time for our 1 o'clock podcast uh, every Monday through Thursday. This is a podcast where you'll hear the science around what actually happened with this opioid crisis. That's what we do here. We talk about the science. We're going to talk about science today. Now, if you've been with us over the past couple of weeks, you know we've been talking about where things went wrong. We've been talking about where the wheels came off the bus. We've been talking about how the psychiatrist got this wrong, okay? And and that's what we're going to continue to talk about today. Uh, remember, we're going through the second citizen's petition page by page, okay? We're going through it page by page and, and uh, taking our time and... and trying to get it to where everybody can understand what we're talking about in those citizens petitions. So look at the screen in front of you today. Okay. This is why I don't appear in the uh, videos. We want to put stuff on the screen that matters instead of me just sitting there talking to you. Uh, That and also where I live, we don't, we have a, a, we do not have a strong internet connection, but look at the screen in front of you. Okay. And you see the, uh, the graphic there embedded within the page and it says, Addiction is a brain disease. Addiction is a brain disease. Now, above that, you see the name Alan Leshner, Dr. Alan Leshner. Okay. And and this was the big study from 1997. Okay. Alan Leshner was then director of NIDA, National Institute of Drug Abuse. And this was his, his it was not actually not a study. This is his paper from 1997. And he declares addiction is a brain disease. Okay. But but kind of here's the problem, guys. All right. Where's the science behind that statement? OK, particularly when it comes to the opioids. Remember, we on this on this podcast, we don't care about alcohol. We don't care about cocaine. We don't care about methamphetamines. We're only talking about the opioids. So when it comes to the opioids, OK, addiction is a brain disease. Where's the science? OK, you made the statement. And Lord knows psychiatrists love to make statements. And they love to act like the the authorities. Where's the science behind it? Okay, because medicine's based on science. Where's the science behind it? And if you've been with us over the past couple of weeks, you know that we've been spending a lot of time talking about um, how the father of modern science, Dr. Karl Popper, did not consider psychiatry to be a part of science. He considered it a pseudoscience, a wannabe, a poser. Dr. Dr. Uh, Karl Popper, the father of, of, of modern science, put psychiatry in the same category as horoscopes and astrology. Okay, and the reason that Dr. Karl Popper did that is because you cannot take the opinion of a psychiatrist and subject it to testing. What kind of testing are you going to do? Now, remember, yesterday we talked about you go in the emergency department with chest pain, they're going to run some tests on you. Okay chest x-ray, CAT scan, EKG, blood work, you're going to run tests. Okay, they're going to make a, a, a diagnosis based upon what those tests show. Well, when the psychiatrist says you're a, a opioid addict, what tests are you going to run? Okay, you go into the emergency department with weakness on, the, on, on one side of your body, they're going to run tests to look and see if you've had a stroke. Okay, and based upon the outcome of those, those tests, they're going to tell you whether or not you've had a stroke. And again, here we have Dr. Alan Leshner just saying Addiction is a brain disease. Okay, well, when it comes to the opioids, where's the proof? Now, here's here's where it gets worse. Okay, here's where it, get, it gets worse. Okay, this is where the where where the wheels and the axles come off the bus. Okay, the psychiatrist actually did run some studies. Okay, uh, uh, this this brain disease model of addiction, this dopamine theory of addiction. Okay, that's their big theory that that, that all addiction occurs because there's a surge in dopamine in the reward centers of your brain when you're exposed to the addictive substance. And that surge in dopamine is so wonderful, so like Nirvana, that that the the circuitry of the brain is hijacked. And and the the, the human just becomes a zombie, just you know, wandering around looking for the next fix. Okay, that's kind of that's the dopamine theory of addiction. Okay. And the whole thing hinges on there being a surge in dopamine in the brain. And for the opioids, the whole thing hinges on there being a surge in dopamine in the brain when the human's given an opioid. Give an opioid and look for a surge in the brain of, of dopamine. Okay, D- dopamine's a, a neurotransmitter, so it's just, it's just a way of, 
measuring activity within the brain. So there are a couple of very well done studies. Daglish in 2009, Watson in 2014, that they, they gave opioids to humans. And they use what's called a PET scan, positron emission tomography. Don't get lost in the, in the science. Don't get lost in the big words. Okay, but they gave opioids to humans. And they, they, and they, they used the PET scan, which is the gold standard. This is, this is the, the, the best technique going currently um, uh, to look for any surge in dopamine in the brain. So you give the humans opioid, you look for a surge in dopamine because that supposedly is what causes addiction, according to the psychiatrist. And in both the, the, the DAGLA study from 2009 and the Watson study in 2014, uh, in, both, in both studies, they gave opioids to humans. There was no surge in brain dopamine. Now, stop and think about that for a moment. Okay, they're telling you that you're an opioid addict. They're telling you that you're an opioid addict because when you took the opioid, it caused a surge in, in brain dopamine in the reward centers of the brain, and that hijacked the circuitry of your brain, and now you're just a zombie craving opioids. Problem is, when they looked at it in the laboratory, opioids didn't cause a surge in brain dopamine. Okay. There was no surge in brain dopamine when the opioids were administered. Okay. That destroys their theory. So not only do they not have a, a, a theory, they now have evidence against the theory. They have evidence against their own theory. There was never a supporting study that showed a surge in brain dopamine except for that that ridiculous one done back in 1988 so that's what they do they they go back to the 1988 study but the, which was done with a, a, a inferior technique called microdialysis uh, uh, drilling little tiny holes in the in the uh, the brain uh, uh, skulls of, of mice and inserting glass tubes can't can't think of anything that possibly go wrong there okay but supposedly uh, in the Italian study uh, the researcher, uh, Daishari, supposedly he saw a, a surge in, in brain dopamine, but when they tried to replicate it with the superior um, uh, research tool, that is the PET scan, positron emission tomography, um, no, there was no surge in brain dopamine. So they ignore the more modern, better done research, and they continue to cite the older research. You can't do that. Okay, that's called dishonesty. That's not being honest. It's dishonest. It's professional dishonesty. Okay. In order to call you a, a, an opioid addict, you have to be dishonest. Okay. And that's just not right. And that's what we're fighting about. That's what we're fighting against. Uh, that, that's why we're on this podcast every day, Monday through Thursday at one o'clock. Okay. We're, as far as I know, we're the, we're the only one out there voicing the truth. We're up against what we're up against are, are very large corporations making money. What we're up against are very large bureaucracies also getting money. Everybody's everybody's getting paid. Everybody's getting paid. You know, come in at nine, go home, go home at 430. Everybody's getting paid. OK. And that's what we're up against. We're up against people getting paid. OK, but we're, we will break through. We will be successful. All right. I'm a little long today. We'll hold here. We'll pick up here tomorrow. Uh, uh, please like and subscribe us. Uh, post this podcast on, on your social media, everybody else's social media. Uh, uh, please, everybody start putting together a list of your congressional representative, your two senators, and every media email address you can find. If you're not getting my emails, okay, check your spam. Okay, my name's in the title, Doug Smith. Okay, if you're not getting my emails, send me your email address. Please. Okay, we need as many people on board as possible. Let's hold here for today. My name is Dr. Doug Smith. Uh, this is our Monday through 30 podcast at 1 at 1 p.m. We will see everybody tomorrow.